that my borrowers know that um, the process is something where, you know, maybe there is um, a language barrier, right? Maybe there is a cultural barrier. But they have the confidence to know that because I speak Spanish, because my processors speak Spanish, right, that they will get their loan processed, they will get their loan underwritten, right, and there will be someone that will advocate for them. So now knowing that, it creates this feeling of, you know, family, this feeling of cultural understanding that, you know, this company does have your best interests at heart because there are people who understand that, you know, there are some obstacles that are going to come up, but together we're going to get through it, right? So this creates that. Um, I have underwriters who went through the process to become citizens because at some point they were undocumented. Mm -hmm. And we do loans for people who have ITIN numbers, right? Mm -hmm. And that's something that's great, you know, because that's a market, of, that's a segment of the market that's so underserved, right? We have the borrowers who, you know, when DACA was still available, we were doing DACA loans. And then, you know, even, you know, when the administration said we're not doing, you know, or DACA doesn't exist anymore, you know, we fought tooth and nail to keep DACA alive, you know? So we were a resource to this community, right? So this is something that, you know, in our, you know, um, organization, we take very seriously. Uh, ben Slayton um, was the first African-American real, uh, real estate agent when they said you couldn't be a realtor because you're African-American. Mm -hmm. He started a division called the Legacy Division to help empower African-Americans um, to be homeowners mm -hmm. because we understand that building wealth through homeownership creates generational wealth. Mm -hmm. It's not just something that, you know, I own a house now, and then it goes, this is something that gets embedded and it creates this, you know, sense of ownership to understand that kids who grow up in the houses that they own are more likely to go to college, less likely to become single parents, mm -hmm. You know, and that creates this sense of ownership, for lack of better words, right? That's what I'm talking about when I tell you that, you know, our organization has this commitment to what we're trying to accomplish, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're doing that's unique, you know? I want our customers to walk in and know that, hey, we speak your language. We understand what you're going through, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and there are these little cultural nuances that, you know, make us laugh every day, right? Like, we tell people, you know, you know where's your down payment? And they're like, oh, well, we have it. Well, where do you have it? <laughs> You know, in the bank, it's in the mattress. Right? Mm -hmm. So how do we document that, right? right. Or they, it's a community pool of money that comes up, right? And we have the capacity to document that money because it is a viable source, right? Yeah. So that cultural understanding is the reason why, 